Among other things, you'll find that you're not the first person who was ever confused and frightened and even sickened by human behavior. You're by no means alone on that score. You'll be excited and stimulated to know many, many men have been just as troubled morally and spiritually as you are right now. Happily, some of them kept records of their troubles. You'll learn from them if you want to. Just as someday, if you have something to offer, someone will learn something from you. It's a beautiful reciprocal arrangement, and it is an education. It's history. It's poetry. I keep picturing all these little kids playing some game in this big field of rye and all. Thousands of little kids and nobody's around. Nobody big, I mean, except me. And I'm standing on the edge of some crazy cliff. What I have to do, I have to catch everyone if they start to go over that cliff. I mean, if they're running and they don't look where they're going, I have to come out of, from out of nowhere and catch them. That's all I do all day. I just be the catcher in the rye and all. I know it's crazy, but that's the only thing I'd really like to be. <laughs> There's so much wisdom in, in, um, in classic, you know, writing like that, short story, right? Well, that's actually a full-length full book, The Catcher in the Rye, by uh, <coughs> J.D. Salinger. So, Marcus Conti reporting today. Breaking news! We have broken one million views! <laughs> that was exciting, right? That's an exciting, superficial, you know, thing, right? YouTube, a million views. That's a lot of views. It's probably not a million people, but it's a, it's a whole lot of people viewing a whole lot, right? So, and actually it's more than a million views because if you tally in how many times YouTube's, YouTube has knocked down some of my, I guess, most popular videos like the... You know, they knock them down, right? And it, those, those videos get 100,000 views and then they take them down. So we're already past a million views. And uh, I'm a personal, I guess, uh, hurdle is 1,000 videos. I had to put up, a thou I think, approaching 996, maybe this is 97 videos. Uh, but we're already, again, if you tally in the, the videos that have already been deleted, we're over, I, I've made over a thousand videos and now seven figures <laughs> in reviews. So I just wanted to make a video to thank you. It's not me doing it, it's you doing it, right? I mean, I do what I do. I just read from The Catcher in the Rye, right? Right? You ask, you know, you say to yourself, what, why do you do this? You know, what, what? What qualifications do you have to do this? To do whatever this is. This cutting edge art of, of news and poetry and rock and roll. Right? This, 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 this amazing hybrid as a result of these, these devices, these you know, joysticks and that, that track you and cell phones that have all this sophisticated video equipment, right? You're tapping into this medium. Ooh, it's so it's so exciting to be alive right now, right? To to for me, that's for me, but for you, it's it's exciting that you don't have to listen to the same bullshit news all the time. Right? It's something it's something innovative, right? For me it's look, my life is has been a long uh, you know, a long road of you know, deep, dark drug addiction. Uh, you know, I was a, a psychic medium. I used to tell stories, tell people one-on-one -on -one entertainment, tell them about themselves and where they're from and where, where they're going and where they've been. Right? You're going to meet somebody. Oh, you're going to meet somebody. It's coming. You know, and... Um, Rock and roll. Oh, I was standing in front of thousands of people with a, with a penis-shaped guitar squirting the audience. Oh, on the verge of rock stardom. 
Oh, what a memory. Writing a book, seeing my name in lights, on TV. Ah, look, Mom, I'm on television. What keeps us motivated? What keeps us going? You know, why? Why do we do this? What is the foundation? For me, it's, it is and always has been truth. Grounded in the truth. In a sea of make-believe. Make-believe, right? I, I, I equate... Well, you know, in, in, in this truth community, there's the, the illusion that your message is more valuable when it's connected to something else. And here's what I mean. The most interesting characters or the people that get the most um, that get the most traction in this truth community are people who create the illusion that they're connected to higher law enforcement of some sort. CIA, FBI, NSA, right? That's the illusion. Uh, now, we know, I mean, <laughs> is, it a, is it a mystery that people in those communities, I, I have a law enforcement you know, a little history, and I could tell you that, especially with the CIA, the foundation, the principle of the CIA is to not tell anybody that you're in the CIA. Right? That, that, that is the, the, you know, it's like, it's like military intelligence. It's the secret of the, of the stuff, right? But nonetheless, there's people running around saying that they're, they're ex, ex CIA, they're ex this, ex that. That's just fundamentally not how it works, right? But nonetheless, it's interesting. It's interesting that those are the types of people that get the most traction in a community that's supposed to be based on truth. Okay. Now, I, I've never disputed. I mean, I have, I have contacts and connections, not just in law enforcement, but in certainly in entertainment, in legal fields, in, you know, again, I've told you, I've sat at the table with billionaires, you know, I, I've been at their parties, right? but that's not, that's, that's not the credential that allows me to do what, what I'm doing, at least, because I'm the catcher in the rye. That's really all I am. That's, that's, what I aspire, that's all I, I am, is that I believe that, the, I believe that the truth lies within, right? which leads me to you know sitting on a meditation cushion for years trying to figure out... <laughs> What is self? <laughs> what is other? <laughs> what are we? And where, wh where did we come from? Is it God? Does it exist? I spent years trying to figure that shit out. Right? Look up and say, look to the chemtrails and say, 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 <laughs> say with me. I'm getting attacked by bugs over here. Say, what are we? Together, what are we? What is beyond the great beyond? Look into the where if there's no end, if there is an end in the God's heaven, where does end end? <laughs> Those kind of questions that drive you crazy. They'll drive you to drink. They'll drive you to take drugs. They'll drive you to hate. They'll drive you to anger and money grab and lash out at your friends and your family and the people that you're supposed to represent attack. <laughs> right? You have to fear, fear that I might be exposed. Exposed! You're going to expose me for what? Expose me for, for, for being human? For having the human quality, the human curiosity? And that's, that's, <laughs> that's uh, condemnable? To shine truth on a world of political fiction, political rhetoric, frivolous lawsuits, murder, plotting murder in the, the QAnon killer, right? plotting, plotting mass confusion, Caesar Sayoc, fake CIA plots to, to win over the curiosity, win the, the narrative. The shootings, the fake shootings, right? There's all this crazy stuff, the political rhetoric. He's a racist. The president of the United States is a racist. You heard? To diffuse the myths. 
with truth, with, with integrity, with a place of, I'm not for sale. I am you. I am a reflection of you. I listen to you. I, I work for the populace like a true politician should work. I reflect your thoughts here. That's what I do. And, you know, the, the, it, the comments until YouTube changes that and they start to realize that, that the, the, the author or the, the creator is communicating directly with his people and, and it, that's his power and they're going to take away his power because he's, he's, he's too powerful. Until that ends, uh, until that ends, we have, a, we have an open line of communication. Let me be your mirror, is what I say. Let me be your mirror. So, again, thank you very much for making this, uh, this adventure. We're only at the beginning. I, I'm just, do I look like I'm getting tired? Do I look like I'm getting tired? I'm just getting started, man. I'm just fucking... You got no idea. This fucking motherfucker's trying to knock me down. Have no idea what they're getting themselves into, bro. This shit is getting fucking real now, man. We got a fucking million views, dude. <laughs> that we got no fucking idea what they're up against. That that's the, the the power, the evil. I'm the I'm the lopper of good. Live action role play. Marcus Conti swoops in to save the world from fake news. Ah, what a great time to be alive. What a great time. What a great time to find you all in, this, in the audience. I love you guys, man. I love this shit. I love what we're doing because I can't do this without you. And there's people trying to prevent us from doing this. You see them in the comments. They're paid trolls. They're pretending to be connected to the FBI and the CIA and the deep state. The deep state operatives looking to... They're working with this one and who's working with that one. They're working together in cahoots. And then they're suing each other. <laughs> They're gonna sue you. They're going to expose you for being the human being that you are. <laughs> so you keep commenting. You just keep you, you roll right over it, right? You you you, you drop a little dick joke, <laughs> sing a little song, do a little dance, because right? it's all fake. Nothing can stop. Nothing can can. Nothing can stop the truth right there's one truth there's a lot of interpretations of that one truth but there's actual actual events that happen right? actual events truthful events that can be documented and there's evidence suggesting that those events actually happened and then that's 10% of it and the other 90% is the fluff the bullshit right so when one lies in the truth and the evidence in the facts and lets the story go uh, it's almost you're almost untouchable really unless they come and get you and put you in a little box all right and make the box disappear <laughs> you're pretty how do i look that's my hair i grow my hair my hair is my strength my hair i'm like zeus the power my power comes from from my hair fucking unbelievable right this hair packs a punch. Fucking shit is dope, man. Shit is crazy. Fucking cut my hair. My mother told me, cut your fucking hair. Go and fucking take a job. Cut your hair, you hippie. My fucking, my hair is my power. <sighs> oh, it's so, oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful power. <laughs> People are stopping and staring. That means I'm, <laughs> I'm starting to spin out of control. All right. Come back down to earth. So, <laughs> literally, the dogs are stopping. So, Marcus Conti reporting. What I need from you guys today, you have done, we have done each other well, but we, we have to continue this, this work of truth. This work of important truth at this time. Although there is comedy and there is poetry and, and, and joy and fun, humor, 
in this venture, there is also enormous truth that needs to be told. And that's where we come in together. That's where, that's where I need your help. Because I'm just one person, but leveraged with the, you know, the thousands of people, a million views that are watching. If you could do one thing today for me, I would appreciate that. And I mean this sincerely because it is, in my view, if you trust my view, if you trust my, my uh, ability to steer this magnificent vessel that we have, then you have, to, you have to trust me that you have to support it in a little way. Rather than for me to have to constantly fight with YouTube to monetize, which they refuse to do. It was for a brief moment. That was beautiful, right? You saw, you saw a fucking Conti and then it was a commercial sell you something, right? And then they pay you out of that, right? But if you tell the truth, they take that away from you. So monetization is no more, but that isn't the real way that, they can, that this can grow. The real, the real way is through you, right? And so that's why I ask you to become a Patreon. Right? It's, not, it's not much. There's two ways you could help. Actually, do both. One is today, on this day of a million views, surpassing a million views, pledge $2 in Patreon. Right? Just go to Patreon. The link is down below. I pitched it a hundred times. If you really enjoy this, and you really enjoy the commenting, and you really believe that there is some truth to this, and that there is, and that, or it's just pure entertainment value, please, please become a Patreon before it's too late. Before something happens and, you know, life sweeps in because of the basic, of basic human needs. That's why people leave a, a, a field. That's why people quit art out of circumstance. So before those circumstances arise, kindly become a Patreon for as little as two dollars, you know, a month. Hey, you know, I'll even give you a refund. If you don't like what you see, after a month, write me a little letter and say, Conti, you're full of shit. I gave you two dollars. I think you're I want my money back. I'll give you two dollars back. How's that? <laughs> you send me your stickers the stickers, the free stickers that I send you. And I'll take you I'll send you your two dollars back. Right? And we'll, we'll call it even, right? So I give you a money-back guarantee. A money-back guarantee on the truth. Right? So. <laughs> you never get, never get tired of how many languages you hear in, in New York. Even at 6 o'clock in the morning, walking around. <laughs> That's what it sounds like, right? <laughs> so, I don't know if you heard it, I heard it. So, kindly become a Patreon. The other thing you can do today, please, pretty please with sugar. Pick this video or, or some other video that ever inspired you that I made, right? And kindly, kindly... Take it and post it somewhere on social media. Tell, try to make a commitment to tell at least two friends. And if you have some time, tell ten friends. Drop ten links of your favorite Marcus Conti video. And say, you know what, this guy's got something. This guy's on to something. He deserves our attention and, and respect. Hey, and he just broke a million views. Right? That's how we can spread. That's how, how we can grow. Because without monetization, without YouTube throttling in a natural way on the through the search engines the channel the the object is to is to, is to uh, choke you out so you can't move right choke you they want to choke they want to choke the truth and the way they do it is starve me out because people think oh no Conti's making a lot of money other people oh, the fucking guy's popular he's making tons of money he's living large no it's the fact is that in the age of demonetization, YouTube has figured it out. They will only they will only promote people that promote the corporate corporate agenda. So if you see videos, that's an indication that that the corporate agenda is being satisfied. <laughs> if you see commercials. If you don't see commercials, you might say, well this guy is at least has some 
tenacity, some sort of balls. Right? So again, the way to the way to beat the system on this great day is for you to become a Patreon for two dollars and go on social media, cut the cut and paste, cut the the the, the link to a video and write a little bur- blurb and say, yo, this guy deserves our respect. This guy, this guy deserves our attention. Please watch. Please subscribe. The subscription number is probably fake. I don't know, it's six, seven thousand, right? That number doesn't move. It hasn't moved in a long time. So, and and when it does go up, then all of a sudden one morning you'll see it drops two hundred, <laughs> or five hundred, or a thousand, right? That's what's happened in the past, right? And that's YouTube playing games. Try to create the illusion that nobody cares about what you're saying. Nobody cares about this truth. Nobody cares. It's fake. It's a false. It's a false truth. It's false. It's fake as hell. Hey, good morning, guys. You guys are planting some trees, man. It's the Green New Deal. Is this the Green New Deal? <laughs> you heard of the Green New Deal, right? You heard about it. There it is. Thank you, guys. That guy's working for the Green New Deal, man. Planting trees. Plant the tree. Plant a tree and watch it grow. Fucking, you gotta watch out with the poison ivy there. That's all I ever fucking found in that, in that spot over there, man. It's fucking poison. I got poison ivy last year, right in that spot. So thank you for uh, watching. Marcus Conte, reporting.